Hallihallo, hier ist auch schon wieder euer Ben und willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge Gaming of Ben und heute kommen wir doch einmal zu Bear With Me. Wie versprochen natürlich das neue Let's Play oder große Let's Play, was ich dann auch komplett, äh, so, ja, komplett durchspielen werde. Und ja, äh, ich würde mal sagen, wir fangen einmal mal an. Das habe ich zum Geburtstag bekommen, das Spiel nämlich von meiner Schwester. Und äh, ja, vielen Dank nochmal dafür. Und äh, ja, jetzt werden wir auf neues Spiel gehen und loslegen. Viele können sich hoffentlich daran erinnern, das habe ich schon mal gespielt, die Alpha-Demo damals, die ich vom Entwickler halt gestellt bekommen habe und so weiter. Und ja, war ziemlich nice und ich hoffe, die Vollversion macht genauso viel Spaß. Und... Schon beginnt der Spaß. Und da sind wir auch schon wieder und da sitzt eine Giraffe. Meine Oma ist eine Giraffe. Nein, ich habe schon immer gewusst nach all den Jahren, aber so, wir sind hier in Amber Zimmer. Das heißt, wir spielen also auch Amber und ist ja logisch und so weiter. So, aber was möchte denn? Millie. Millie, Millie. Und das Ganze ist so eine Art wie Franbo, kann man sich vorstellen. Point and Click Adventure, was ein bisschen skurril ist, das erklärt auch schon die Giraffe. Millie, die bei uns hier im Zimmer ist und die sprechen wir noch mal an. It seems you had a nightmare. Äh, nightmare, es gab dieses Feuer. Ja, aber ich komme mit Albträumen zurecht. There was this fire and black smoke was coming from the windows. Funny thing is, it didn't feel scary to me, like I wasn't really there. Was it Paper City? No, I don't think so. What are you doing here, Millie? Are you all right? Oh no, miss, something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, miss, Go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted? I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven and he's become a burnout. I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. Okay, alles klar. Ähm, was ich nochmal anmerken muss, ich hoffe mal, der, dass der Ton so passt, weil ich nicht gewusst habe, dass die Stimmen überhaupt so laut sind. Aber ich hoffe mal, dass das so weit trotzdem alles okay ist. Ansonsten wird es bei der nächsten Folge natürlich sofort korrigiert, das Ganze. Äh, mal gucken, ne? Hm. Ich glaube, ich kann meinen Bruder allein finden. Okay, Millie, ich werde doch bin. Wir brauchen den Bär natürlich. Ohne Bär geht nichts. Das haben wir bei den Otifanten schon gelernt. Weil ohne Bruno den Bär hat es auch nicht funktioniert. Also. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. But for your sake, Miss. Please, don't go wandering around alone. There is something else I haven't told you about. The reason I came all the way down here. There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week, ever since he showed up. The officials are burying their heads in the sand, while this man has an entire city, your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well, Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a city-wide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. 
We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The Mugshot Boys helped me through the East Tunnel, bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. Ja, 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 das machen wir ja schon. Wir dürfen nicht alleine gehen und so weiter und so fort, weil ja alles zu gefährlich ist und, äh, ja, sehr schön. Nein, wir gehen, gehen natürlich nicht alleine. Und zwar, Mr. Bear ist ja ein Privatdetektiv, der wohl Burnout bekommen hat und so weiter. Und der lebt in unserem Schrank. Das heißt, in diesem Schrank hier, wie es aussieht. Und wir werden mal klopfen einfach. Amber Ashworth, if I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble, I'd be neck deep in nickels right now. Something was different this time. I could feel it in the air. Someone really put the scares on her. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. She starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm retired, for good this time. It fell on deaf ears again. Anyway, she starts talking about Millie, Paper City, her brother, and all that jazz. And I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does. And I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually, I give in. We've done this so many times, I've lost count. She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head. And then... They get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way. Or is it the booze that makes me calm? Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me, and yet I know I'm in for it again. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. Alles klar. Sehr cool gemacht. Um, Hi, Ted. I heard you were tired, but... Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. Er sieht schon ein bisschen mitgenommen aus, man. Always were. Do me a solid this time and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? Mal gucken, alles klar. Ähm, das geht überhaupt nicht an. Ich war schon im Bett. Du machst zu viel Krach. Äh, ich habe bald Geburtstag. Das ist es. My birthday is coming up soon and I thought I'd extend an invitation. Your birthday was six months ago. Naja, yeah, fast. But I'm planning some big things for my next one. I thought I'd start preparing early. Good thinking. You don't want to repeat that fiasco from two years ago. Yeah, that was really bad. Who knew Salmonella was still a thing? I know, right? Anyway, I'll tell my secretary to get you something nice. You don't have a secretary. Exactly. If you don't mind, babe, I'm pretty busy here, so... Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown into a wood chipper thanks to you. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird watching, uh, poker and cigar club. And where were you? You ran off. I was following a lead. Um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, doll. I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. 
I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing, it's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, though. No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? You're still here, and I still have a lot of work to do. Okay, alles klar. Mal schauen. Äh, müssen wir das wirklich wieder machen? Du schuldest mir Miete. Äh, ich glaube, ich gehe einfach alleine. Nein. How about I just keep pretending your office isn't in my closet and you actually owe me rent? That was kind of a cheap shot, doll. But I guess nothing ever comes for free. What's this nonsense all about, anyways? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like all sorts of bad things, and there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie. The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route, but I think that's been closed off too. They? Ah, mal gucken, Millie und das Paper City Orchestra, Millie und die Millie und der Wein- und Käseclub des Monats, Millie und die Vogelbeobachter der Welt und Millie und die Was hat hier Claudio Bradwell Audio System von Paper City? Äh, ich habe nicht aufgepasst. Sehr gut, ich nehme einfach äh, Pappmasche Vereinigung von Paper City Wein und Käseclub des Monats. Ähm, um, yeah, Millie and the Wine and Cheese of the Month Club. They need a place to uh... get drunk and eat cheese bits. It's called a living room. They have clubs for everything these days. Wait, are you making this up? Yeah, sorry. The mugshot boys helped her out. I know how much you don't like them. I mean, what's not to like? Fact that they're thieves and thugs? They literally stole a candy from a baby once. But wasn't that baby an undercover cop? Well, yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel, the one that leads to Flint's room, and she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man, dressed completely in red. He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. He's asking questions about you? What's so interesting about you? Hey, I'll have you know there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. Millie is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. Will you help me out? Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. Your hat? No. I'm phasing that one out. Your magnifier? That's right, doll face. Now be a good assistant and go find Ich bin kein Poppengesicht. I'm sorry, your assistant? No you help. what I mean. Now get cracking. So, alles klar. So, ähm, ja, das war dann schon mal eine kleine, feine Einleitung. Äh, was ich nochmal sagen wollte, äh, es gibt eine kleine Ankündigung. Und zwar, wir werden bald ein, äh, was heißt wir, ja, wir halt, ne, werden bald Don't Strafe Together spielen. Mit wir meine ich, ich, meine Freundin und eine dritte Person namens, ich glaube, ihr Bruder spielt damit. Müssen wir mal gucken, soweit, ob wir das zu dritt schaffen überhaupt. Äh, aber so mal als kleine Ankündigung kann man sich schon drauf vorbereiten. Wird da ein bisschen Tubu ba Bubu geben und werden mal gucken, ob wir das überleben werden, falls einer Don't Strafe Together kennt. Äh, von hier aus einmal, wir gucken mal. Ähm, wir gehen jetzt erstmal kurz zurück nochmal. So, aber so das war jetzt erstmal, kann man sagen, eine kleine, Einleitung, eine kleine Einleitung zu Bear With Me. Äh, wir wissen erstmal, worum es geht. Der böse rote Mann durchstreift durch Paper City. Und wie es aussieht, hat er auch meinen Bruder entführt. Äh, Gehe ich mal davon stark aus. Erstmal ist er nur weg. Aber 
wenn es schon eine Bösewicht gibt, dann wird auch der Rand schuld haben. Warum auch nicht? So, wir können uns hier nochmal ein bisschen im Zimmer umschauen. Und dann warten wir auf die nächste Folge, würde ich sagen. Nächstes ist das Spiel auf Deutsch. Aber natürlich, du sagst es. Jetzt haben wir überhaupt hier drin, ne? Im Bettkasten, ne? Ey, eine Batterie. Eine Batterie, ich werde verrückt. So, ähm, ja, von hier aus. Mit dem Ton, da muss ich noch ein bisschen rumhantieren. Ich hoffe, der hat trotzdem so weit gepasst, erstmal für die erste Episode. Das war jetzt erstmal so gesehen der Prolog, kann man sagen. Und ja, ich war der Ben und ja, hoffe, das Ganze hat euch gefallen. Wenn ja, gerne bitte liken, kommentieren das Ganze, schreibt doch mal mit rein in den Kommentaren, was ihr von dem Spiel haltet. Der Stil ist auf jeden Fall sehr interessant, ist so ein bisschen krimiartig, erinnert mich auch ein bisschen an Frambo und ja, wirkt erstmal wie, wie ein sehr schönes Point-and-Click-Spiel. Und ich bin schon sehr gespannt, wie es weitergeht, hoffe ihr auch. Und wie schon gesagt, wenn euch das Ganze auch gefallen hat, bitte liken, kommentieren, unten rechts Abonnier-Button, einfach raufklatschen, dashen, smashen, damit ihr nichts mehr verpasst vom Gaming of Ben und nichts mehr verpasst vom Bear with Me. Und ja, wie gesagt, tschüss, Kroski, bis dahin und bis zum nächsten Mal bei Gaming of Ben und bis dahin natürlich immer schön weiter zocken. Also, reinhauen! Amber Ashworth. If I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble. Do we really have to do this whole bit again? It's growing from the sand. Aren't you perceptive, doll? You should have been a detective. Let's pretend there's something inside. Like, like... A golden retriever puppy just for you, doll. Oh my god, is it really? Yeah, no, it was a joke. My mom uses the same one to wash Ted in. What? That's not true. I have a shower in my office. Oh, you do, do you? Wait, it's locked. But why? This is mighty suspicious, doll. Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Curfew, lockdown, fires. It's like the whole damn city is having a nightmare. Hold on there, Snow. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average Sam, see? God damn it. I have to talk to the mayor personally. The word on the street is that the suspect, codename Red, is asking a lot of questions about Miss Ashworth. Oh my god, Ted. He's in my house. 